Feeling fatigue is never something that that's fun. I have days where I wake up, I'm not as energized as I really want to be. I'm not as focused either. I feel lethargic. I feel like I want to just stay home and, and lay in bed. Now, sometimes people will say, well, that's because you use a lot of energy, because you're always running all over the place. My wife will say it, my mom will say it, my friends will say it, but that is not always the case. If you are also suffering with severe fatigue every day and you cannot understand why, there are a couple of things that you can actually do that can eradicate and eliminate your fatigue. In most cases, the steps that I'm going to talk to you about right now, which is on the board, you can read it, you can read it ahead of time. It's going to help you. But in other cases, it might not. Because sometimes there can be way more issues going on than you might know. So I don't, I don't ex experience fatigue on a day-to-day. -day. However, when I am fatigued, the things that I do normally works well for me. But when you look at fatigue, before we even go into how to combat the fatigue, because you read all this stuff already, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Why are you fatigued? Could it be overexertion? Maybe you're overweight or obese. Maybe you're bored. Life is just not working the way you want it to work. Maybe you're going through some grief. Maybe you're mourning the death of somebody. Maybe you're on some kind of medication that is not having the most positive effect on you. Maybe you have too much caffeine every day. Caffeine picks you up and it drops you down, just like sugar. Same thing goes for sugar. Maybe you're having way too much sugar. You're not eating enough nutrient foods, like nutritious foods. You're not having enough fruits. You're not having enough veggies. You're, you're probably having a lot of processed foods. That stuff can weigh down on your health. You probably suffer from anxiety or depression. These are more in the mental paces, right? This is where a lot of us in the world are now suffering because of all the madness going on in the world. And you just can't cope and your body shuts down. <clears throat> so these could be some of the reasons why you're fatigued. Maybe there's a lot more other things. You know, there's a lot of other things. But the first thing I'll have you to do, if you find that you're suffering a lot, is to check your health. Go to the doctor. Always start with your health first. People will jump like, hey, I want to go to the gym and I want to lose weight. Guess what? Check out the reason why your body is gaining the weight in the first place. It could be something men medical and you don't know, okay? It's not always about the gym. It's not always about the nutrition. Always get your health checked out first, okay? Maybe it's insomnia. Maybe it's anemia, arthritis, heart disease, diabetes, sleep apnea, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, all these things can be, can play a major role into why you're fatigued every day and you don't know it. And maybe you've tried everything I'm going to talk about and it doesn't work. So number one, set the appointment and go and check up with your doctor. Tell them you want the full blood panel. You want to check everything, cortisol, you want to check your thyroid, you want to know that everything is functional. Number two, get moving. You hear me say it a lot. Exercise increases your vigor, improves your circulation, it increases self-confidence, it improves your work efficiency, which means that your energy is heightened so much more that you can work much more fruitful and you don't have to feel tired all day. When you're moving around a place, you will increase that circulation. When that blood is moving, your organs are happy, your organs are moving. That means that your vibrations is higher, right? So get to moving. You don't have to do nothing strenuous, you don't have to go crazy, but as long as you're moving your body and you're not staying sedentary, when you're sedentary, you're killing yourself. You're destroying your cortisol. You're making all the other hormones in your body completely imbalanced, okay? You have to get moving. And I'm talking about 30 minutes a day minimum, okay? Now, 30 minutes is nothing. What I recommend for you to get, get your watch, get a pedometer. You know, you have everybody have phones nowadays, almost everybody. And Well, my Auntie Carmen don't have no phone. Uh, Auntie, if you see this video, get a phone. But... You can program things in your phones now to keep track of your steps. Your goal should be to get how many steps a day? 10,000 steps a day, which equals five miles. A lot of people don't know that, okay? Every 2,000 steps, you have at least uh, one mile. So when you do uh, 10,000 steps, you're averaging five miles. If you don't get five miles, at least aim for it, okay? Because it's going to help you to get to go and move your body. Number three, fasting. This is where a lot of us get confused. People think, oh, but if I'm tired, shouldn't I eat more? No, chances are you already eat way too much. Chances are you eat a lot more than you should. Uh, I've seen people say, hey, eat more. But that's for the small amount of people in the world. Fasting does not make you tired. 
It does not make you lethargic. In the beginning, yes. In the beginning when your body is going through the process, you know, it's going to feel a little bit tired. But once your body becomes acclimated to it, when you fast, especially intermittent fasting, like I do a 16-8 ratio, where I fast for 16 hours and I eat for a whole window, an eight-hour window. Like if you tell me eight hours you cannot eat, eight hours is not enough for you to eat, then you have an eating problem because eight hours is a lot, okay? So I stop eating at 8, 8 p.m. at night and I will fast all the way to 12 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon. See the cycle? And I'll eat from 12 all the way up to 8. So it's like, that's a lot of time to be able to eat food. So that helps you to increase your energy. It improves and grows those human growth hormones which your body needs to develop so much more muscle and so much more energy. And so your body can burn the fat. Without the human growth hormones, your body is not going to do what it needs to do the way it needs to do is because it's going to be knocking off of balance. Next one is to minimize exercise weight gain. That's what excessive weight gain, that's what fasting does. When you gain a lot of weight, remember over here, being overweight, obese, that could be one of the reasons. When you gain a whole lot of weight, your body's carrying a lot of excess weight and it's going to feel tired. You're going to feel tired. You're not going to feel as energized and you're going to feel depressed as well. Remember anxiety and depression. So that can lead to anxiety, depression. It can lead to, to not eating enough of the nutritious foods. It can lead to boredom because you're stuck at home, not doing anything. So fast, go for the 16, eight. If you're a female, you, you can go a little less than that. You can, you can fast a little bit more. Maybe you can go to like a, a, a 14, 10 or, a, or maybe even a 15, nine, whatever. Just kind of play around with it and see what feels better for you. The last two, shut down your screens, shut down your screens, computer screens, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, TVs, shut them down. Why? Because all those lights that you're looking at every day like this, especially like this now, is no longer from away from you. It's normally like within a 12 inch space. Some of you are even at a six inch space. Some of you are like a two and a half or four inch space. Like, whoa, your eyes are consistently straining to look and see text and images and colors and all these different things which can drain your brain cells and you can feel extremely tired every single day because you're on the screen way too much to so shut it down. And I don't mean to shut it down forever. I'm talking about shut it down for at least an hour, at least an hour. I know an hour is going to feel like the end of the world for most of you. Okay. Sometimes I have my phone and I put my phone to my side. I'm like, I start to itch. Cause I'm like, I want to get to my phone so bad. Cause the phone is like a, it's like an extra arm on my body. But you know what? I don't get it. I let it go because there are days where I feel like when I said I feel fatigue, that was one of the symptoms. That was, pro that was one of the problems that caused those symptoms. It was because I was on my phone too much, my computer screen too much. I'm filming, I'm editing, I'm, I'm, I'm on the phone, checking Instagram, checking YouTube. I'm doing all these things, looking at comments, reading back and forth the emails. I'm doing business 24 seven. So I had to take a break and kind of, you know, move away from the side and allow my brain to rest. And it worked. The last one, drink water. Dehydration is a silent killer. I think dehydration is more of a silent killer than diabetes, to tell you the truth. Dehydration is something that I would say at least 87% of the population is going through right now here in America. And I know there are exact numbers, but in my mind, because we don't drink enough water and we have an excess amount of it. There are parts in the world that people wish they had water. Maybe you're in that part of the world. I don't know. But I know in America, we have water to the point to where we can choose. Oh, don't drink tap water. Tap water is bad for you. Oh, don't drink the bottled water is bad for you. We have so much water here that we, we go crazy. Don't drink that water. Don't drink this water. We have a lot of options, but drink the water. Water will help to transport nutrients throughout your system. It will help to regulate your, 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 your whole entire appetite. It will help you to stay focused. It will help your brain cells to rejuvenate and regenerate when they need to. It will help your vision. It will help your mouth. It will help your digestive tract. It will help your reproductive tract. It help your lymphatic system. Water is the element. That's why you are at least 85% of water. Some people say 80, some people say 90. I don't care. That's just the numbers I'm throwing up there because it sounds pretty high. We are made of a lot of water. Like the earth. The earth is 
majority of water. We are representations of the earth. So when you feel fatigued, those are some of the things that I want you to focus on. Check your health, go to the doctor, get moving fast. I'm telling you fast. Oh, how can I forget number four? How can I forget this one? Cause it's on the bottom. Go to bed early, go to bed early. That, that's another one. I, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, go to bed early. I'm gonna underline you so I could see you. Go to bed early. When you're going to bed late at night, you're watching TV, you're on your phone, you're doing all, you, you are telling your brain that you wanna die early. The brain goes into like a panic mode, like I don't wanna die, my job is to make you survive and I'm gonna to try to do everything under the sun to make sure, and the moon, to make sure that we can survive. But you force the hand and start to go to bed late for no reason, for what, for no reason. Maybe you are maybe you're going through these things and you go to bed late and then you wake up tired. So go to bed early, shut it down. I mean, shut it down. The same way you shut down your phone and stuff, shut that down, go to bed. Tell yourself, if you're watching a movie that's really good, practice, Pressing the off button. Just, I'm telling you, practice right when it's getting really good. Practice off. It's gonna feel so interesting. Then you go to bed. All right. Going to bed will help your body to recover. It will help all of your cells to rejuvenate. Remember, rejuvenation is where we want to be at, so we can combat this nasty, stinking, fatigue enemy. This villain, and and, and we don't want that. Okay. We want to not be fatigue at all. I don't want it. All right, so hopefully these six steps that I shared with you today, they help you out. You find it peaceful. You find it helpful. You find it as something you can apply. And you choose the ones that you know you have done. Give yourself a thumbs up. And the ones that you know you need to do, give yourself a thumbs up because you're going to do it, right? Let's go. This is why we're here. All right, I'll see you later.